welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today I am ready, I'm off already into London for an Edge of Ember press event. So I have a lovely lunch to look forward to at the Brasserie of Light in Selfridges, which is now one of my favourite restaurants. I only discovered it recently and I'm in love with it. It's gonna be me and like nine different fashion journalists, all just to have a look at the new Paradise collection. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm quite summery today. I'm wearing orange Zimmerman, my orange Zimmerman little bralette. And I've paired that with my Brunello trousers, little Fendi belt to pull it in a little bit. And I've also got some heels, some sparkly heels to wear this as well in my bag. But yeah, in my bag I've got lots of other bits and bobs because I'm staying over tonight at the Bulgari Hotel because I have a Bulgari party to attend. So I've got a few different things to wear. I've already bought a dress that's already hopefully at the Bulgari. I just ordered it from Net-A-Porter and was like, just deliver it there. I've got a beautiful Bulgari necklace coming along for me, a bag, and then my friend Kyle is coming with me and I've also got hair and makeup coming along. I was like, Do you know what? It's been so long since I went to a big event. Let's just go all out. So that's what I've got to look forward to today. So I'll sort of say a quick hello before I head off the day. I'll see you in London. We arrived at the event at Selfridges, Brasserie of Light. We have this beautiful private room. I have unknowingly matched the furniture in my little outfit. So beautiful seeing it laid out like this. We've got the Luxor in the silver. Obviously we have it in the gold as well. So the bracelet, beautiful silver bracelet as well. And then the other Luxor pieces. The Tahiti edit. This is the lariat that I'm currently wearing. And the beautiful droplets. This is just, honestly, probably one of my favourite pieces in the collection. I'm wearing it now, actually. I absolutely adore the chain. The Riviera edit here with the beautiful blues. And the Riviera necklace I'm wearing right now. And I'm wearing the, this little bracelet here. You can just see it there poking in the middle. We have these beautiful bouquets laid out. So lovely. And then over here we have the Gilly edit as well as the Havana edit as well. This has been such a great bestseller. As have these, as well as the Gilly necklace has been huge. The Veneto necklace and bracelet with beautiful little huggy hoops and the ring. Plus the Athene collection. Engraved with Mother of Pearl, matching ring and then the hoops. Yeah, really excited for everyone to arrive. So like I said, it's gonna be, I think it's me and nine other fashion journalists. I'm gonna have to do like a little speech and whatnot, but um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this actually. It'll be really nice just to kind of meet some people I haven't met before, show everybody the collection, see what they think. I'm kind of stacked up with the three necklaces. I've put in the Havana hoops that I just adore. And then I just have I just have loads of different chains and bracelets on. Well, this looks delicious. The pea puree with scallops. Hey guys. So the press event was absolutely wonderful. It was just really lovely. Everyone that attended was just so like chirpy and friendly and lovely. I mean, every journalist I've ever met actually in London has always been so, so lovely. So we had a fantastic time. Me and the girls from Edge of Ember just stayed a little bit longer to have a few more drinks and chat and catch up. So I've had a fantastic afternoon and now to top it off, I have checked into the Bulgari Hotel. I mean, there are some incredible hotels in London, but there's nothing quite as opulent and luxurious as the Bulgari. And they very, very kindly checked me in as a Bulgari ambassador. Honestly, some days, are, some days I could pinch myself sometimes at the things that I get to do, honestly. I, I feel so lucky. They've put me in the most ridiculous suite. I almost wish I had 20 friends with me to enjoy this with, because it's so big. It's got a kitchen, a dining room. It's got a small sitting room, an enormous balcony. It has a secondary sitting room with TV and treats. It has an enormous bar. There's an office. There is a small toilet for guests. There is the bedroom with my dress that hopefully will fit me that I bought yesterday. Walk-in wardrobe, bathroom with bath, sauna shower and the toilet is in there. So <laughs> I'm just feeling extremely extremely lucky right now. Um, so tonight is a Bulgari party. It's going to be over at the Serpentine so it's literally just up the road so it's perfectly placed just here. I've got jewellery en route now from the Bulgari um, team. I've got hair coming later. I've got um, Chris doing my hair. I'm doing my own makeup because I didn't text my Louise quick enough. <laughs> and, um, and Kyle is coming later to be my plus one for the night. So I need to get myself ready. By the way, this is the bag that I've been wearing today. Brand new season Bulgari with the white and black. 
absolutely beautiful. This bag for me is more luxurious, more exciting, more like better made, um, more unique than the Chanel boy bag, for instance. And I know so many people right now are upset because the Chanel bags are going up so much in price. Honestly, I would say invest instead in a beautiful bulgari like this. So it's just iconic, like jewelry inspired, made to the most incredible standards. And they come in so many different colors and quilts. And it's just, I just think the height of luxury. So personally, I would go for this if you're kind of on the fence about buying the more expensive boy bag at the moment. But let's have a look if my outfit is going to fit me. I truly, truly hope so. Paid for like premiere delivery just to make sure I got it on time, which is quite great really, because if it doesn't fit me and I have to send it back, I can get it picked up from the Bulgari. So that's really handy actually. So tonight's outfit dress occasion wear is cocktail. So teeny weeny. Wow, gosh, that is teeny weeny. That is what I call a mini dress. <laughs> I just wanted to wear something really fun tonight. And this seriously stood out to me. This is tonight's little cocktail dress. This is so fun for me, but I saw it online. Totally fell in love with it. So fun. Just something really nice and fun for after a long lockdown. <laughs> So it's this beautiful little teal metallic number, little Equizora heels, this beautiful, beautiful little blue Borgo bag, I need to fasten that. And then I have loaned this baby from the Bulgari team, look how beautiful this is. And I've got my, my earrings in, I've got my watch on, my little bracelet, earrings, I've done all my makeup, these beautiful greens and blues. I very much have a theme for tonight, so I can't wait just to go and have a little drink and see everyone for the, um, the Bulgari Metamorphosis party. Morning guys, yeah, got my little deep puffers on. I was sent a really lovely package yesterday, a triple one spa, um, and they heard I was here, so they sent me a lovely little goodie box, and in there was this, and I thought this was perfect timing. So I'm just gonna have my brekkie before I head off this morning. I've just got a lot to do today, so unfortunately I can't laze in bed, although I only went to bed last night at like one something. The event was fantastic. I'm sorry I didn't manage to film really anything. It's one of those kind of events, obviously. If you've not been out in ages, seeing people, those kind of parties, I bump into lots of people I used to hang out with a lot at different events and parties and things. So you get chatting, chatting, chatting with everyone. Like I got to meet a couple of people who were so lovely, who um, said they followed my channel. So that was fantastic. Then I saw a few people who are other content creators and I saw a few people, well, I saw a lot of the ladies on the, and the gents on the Bulgari team. So I was constantly chatting with different people. So it's kind of hard to get your phone out to, to film. So, oh, it's got bits. It's got bits. Oh, it's delicious, but... Bits just go through me. <laughs> Hands up if you don't like bits. Mm, mm, mm. I've got my usual. I've had toast. Yeah, honestly, I've had a, we had the best night. So I took my friend Kyle. I had my hair done first of all by Chris. Chris came over to do my hair. Got into my outfit. And Kyle went along together. I just, caught, I just thought that Kyle would really enjoy it. And we had a fantastic time. I spent most of the night with Sarah Michaela. Who, if you don't follow on Instagram, guys, you really should. She's just one of the most wholesome, soulful wonderful energy. I always say this to her, but I feel like me and her, I always envisage us as these like big balls of energy and when, whenever we come together and see each other, we like clink together <laughs> like these massive balls of energy so that we're just like, whoa! Do you know what I mean? I, I really believe in energies. When it comes to different people, people vibrate differently and are at like at different energy frequencies. I am very high. I think I mentioned this before. I'm extremely high frequency very incredibly high vibration levels which is why i'm always very upbeat bouncy very full of life very happy a lot of the time i'm constantly on the go i you know i'm constantly do 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 because i've got this really high energy and the people i have around me are also fairly high energy if not extremely high energy as well because we bounce off each other and it's just like a happy friendship i think everyone kind of gravitates towards people with their similar energy levels. So that's why if you get someone with a really high frequency and you've got someone super low down here, quite often that'll clash. Like I know there are people 
who find me a lot because I'm not like, ooh, I'm kind of like, ooh, if that makes any sense. It makes complete sense to me in my head. Um, anyway, Sarah Michaela is one of those people who is like up here, the same level as me. So it's just like this boom of energy whenever we come together. And so we just had the best time together catching up um, and I got to meet her lovely boyfriend. So yeah, full of Sarah Michaela, if you don't already. She is just a dream and makes the most beautiful editorial photos and lifestyle imagery. So I had a wonderful time last night with Kyle. Then Kyle came back here, we ordered a little bit of food late and then he went off home. I got my Nuba back. I went and pretty much got myself in bed. I've just been on the phone to the builders because I knew today they're building the fire pit and I like to be there for every single measuring moment just to make sure everything is perfect. And I knew this morning they were building the fire pit and I didn't know whereabouts it was going and how large it's going to be on the inside or the outside. So I wanted to do my little FaceTime so I'm there to the builders like, hello! Oh god, honestly. So that's all good, I just need Kyle. I'm just waiting on my friend Kyle to send me over all the pictures from last night. He was very, very kind that came over and took some pictures of me in my outfit. We didn't ask him to do, he just said, let's do it. So he's gonna send me over those so I can get editing up and then I'll get myself in a cab and back to the station. This hotel though, guys, is a next level, like next level luxury. I would recommend this hotel to you if you're coming to London and one of your main goals of coming to London is shopping, especially at Harrods. You can't get a better hotel in the Bulgari. It's right, like literally Harrods, it's a stone throw that way. So it's perfect for that. Um, they're also extremely attentive here. Wonderful staff. I mean, they have to be. I mean, it's such a luxury brand. And if you just want something extra luxury and opulent, then yeah, it's your guy. It's not London, London vibes. It's Bulgari vibes. Do you know what I mean? Like some London hotels are London hotels. Like they've got that, they've got that interior decor style. They're situated in, you know, Covent Garden or Soho or those kind of really cool places. Whereas the Bulgari is literally here in the in the heart of Knightsbridge, ready for Harrods, ready for a good shopping trip, near loads of restaurants. Ooh, ooh, chili. Oh God, I got a load of chili. Woo. Hello guys, I just filmed this whole intro and uh, realized that my anti shake wasn't on and therefore you would have been like this the whole time. Today I'm having a bit of a hair change. I'm going to Larry King in Kensington to see my Amy Fish and she is going to take my hair blonder again. Um, I must admit, the more every time I look back at my wedding pictures, I was so platinum, like white, clean blonde, and I just, it was absolutely amazing. I really have loved having my natural mousy blonde colour. Over lockdown, it was a godsend. Having this meant I didn't have to do my hair at all over lockdown and it, and it looked fine, so that was a godsend. But at this point now, I'm kind of missing feeling a bit brighter for summer. And so I thought I'd go today and just get it a little bit blonder, get a lot more blonde put through this and be a bit more platinum again, because I really do quite miss it. Going away next week, so it's perfect timing. And I'm actually recording the whole thing for a reel with Red Ken. So that's kind of cool, I'm working with Red Ken on this project using their beautiful colors and also their shampoos and conditioners just to kind of retain the health and to tone it and to make it look nice and bright again. But yeah, it's a really, it's, I mean, it's a really cool moment that I work with Red Ken because as you guys know, I've been a loyal and avid Red Ken user. Probably eight years now, I think when I was purple, when I had purple hair, hands up down below in the comments if you were here when I had purple hair. That was like seven years ago, I think. And it was Red Ken and it was Amy that took me from purple to a gray silver. And that was always Red Ken colors and Red Ken toners and shampoos and conditioners. So since then, I, in honesty, I've been an avid, loyal Red Ken user. And it recently, we've been working on a few projects together. So in honesty, it's a really proud moment for me to be able to work with the brand that I use the most, that I am most loyal to. So yeah, so this is gonna be, I'm just gonna record it for a reel for later. A bit of a nice brightening. So that's all we have to do today. Just gonna go get my hair done. I mean, it takes four hours. So the day is gone on the hair and then Alex is gonna get a haircut too. So so we're very much looking forward to it. The garden has come on leaps and bounds since I showed you last week. I'll show you that when we get back because when we get back, the fire pit should be finished, the finials should be on the stairs and hopefully the whole thing will be grouted too. So it'll be uh, looking very different. So far I'm looking at it and we have the coping stones on the wall and we have the pier cap. 
So, I'm thrilled to bits. It's looking really, really awesome. Um, yeah, I'm really chuffed. I'll show you that when we get back. But anyway, let's get going. anything so I was too busy filming my reel but look how much brighter everything is I've had so many more blonde highlights put through and then we've toned them up if you want to know by the way what colour I used and how they did it it's all in the reel so watch the Instagram reel and you'll see everything I'm not used to parting the on this side so I keep touching it <laughs> but I love it I'm so happy so Amy's done the colour and then Larry has just cut it and then blow dried it for me so well hello to the old me i feel so fresh and so bright again just back to my usual self which feels wonderful um we've just got back it's been a long ass day we got to lyra's at 11 15 and we left at quarter past five six hours later um it was just obviously a long one adding so many highlights. I had like a, almost a full head of highlights and obviously I've got quite long hair and I've got a lot of hair. A lot of people think my hair looks quite thin when actually I've got a lot of it. So it thickens up. Um, so it, it took time and obviously I was, we were all chatting with Larry and then I kept seeing loads of people I knew in the salon so we were chatting. So we ended up leaving at quarter past five. Went back to Euston, got ourselves a delicious Leon. Thought we'd sit down in Euston and eat it and enjoy it for a bit and then we're gonna train home. However, just got back. Oh, by the way, I've, I've not shown you this either yet, have I? This was my birthday gift from Aperol. Okay, you can't really tell the size here. Okay, this is my hand for size. <laughs> I wonder if I've got a regular bottle just so I can see the difference here. Okay, that's a regular bottle. This is the mama ship bottle. Um, so thank you very much, Aperol. This is insane. We're going to save this now for a parte. And then right next to it we have Alex's new favourite bourbon. Alex is massively into bourbon so if anyone is watching who likes bourbon who has a partner that does, he is saying this is potentially his favourite bourbon now over Blanton's. If anyone knows Blanton's it's a very expensive lovely one. So yeah, this is a good one too apparently. But anyway, anyway, exciting things to do, potentially show you. I'll show you now into the garden because we've just got home. We were watching the CCTV all day because I've just been so excited about seeing what the builders are doing in the garden today because I knew they were finishing off the fire pit. And we've just come home to see it in person and it is unbelievable. The way that they finished it, we've had the same coping stone company who made the coping stones for the wall make the coping stones for the fire pit, but like flat. And the way my builder has cut them on like 45 degree angles to create these beautiful corners. Honestly, I would go as far as saying it's the most perfect fire pit I've ever seen. Okay, let me let me show you because it's just it's too good to be true. I'll just give you a quick update then in the garden. Why the devil not, hey? Um, Bo, explicit. Do you want to come with me instead? Okay. <laughs> So, what have I not shown you guys? Okay, I've not shown you the coping stones yet, have I? The coping stones are on. This is a bad time to probably show you actually because all the coping stones have been grouted today in between. So because it was raining a little bit, the guys have just covered them up with a sheet just to ensure the grout stays pretty perfect. Bo, are you having a laugh? He's literally brought his toy out. Bo, <laughs> God, I'll go over here, shall I? And quickly kind of show you. So we had them bespoke made because I wanted them to have this really beautiful like beveled edge like this. Oh look at that grout. Hello. Beautiful grout. Beautiful. Um, so I mean look at this gorgeous finish to it up the edge. And then it has a slight swoop to a point in the middle and then it swoops back down. So I wanted it to be like that so not only can you sit on it, sit on it but also the rainwater will go either right or left and it won't just sit flat on top. So again we've got the pillar caps 
on each side and then tomorrow we're going to have the finials put on the top of these and they are massive it's going to be about 60 high just in like the ball finials so these just look so fantastic i honestly could not be happier with this wall but then look at the fire pit honestly i've never seen a more perfect fire pit i'm so thrilled so the outside is cotswold stone the inside is red brick where obviously the fire is going to likely turn that fairly black very quickly so we went with brick on the inside and then the tops are all the same stone as this coping stone in the exact same material and colour so that it matched but these ones are completely flat and then like I said my builder has cut them magically in this beautiful 45 degree angle so it's like this is one piece this is one piece this is one piece it's just so magically done it looks gorgeous so this goes all the way down that is a little um water hole so all, any water gets in can go straight down there but we're gonna buy a big iron fire basket to go in here that's gonna raise it up um, and it's kind of thing is where we can pull it out clean it put it back in but otherwise this makes the perfect table as well so when we have friends over and everyone sat around it's the perfect place to put drinks and food obviously when the fire isn't on we'll have to see how hot the fire gets but this is exactly what i wanted a big surface to put your drinks on and like me and alex can sit out here and have date nights and whatnot so like the the idea here really is that i'm gonna have a little sofa here i'm gonna have a chair on that side chair on this side maybe even a chair here so it goes all the way around super social space in the corner i want to have like a big terracotta pot there and I've also got a light going there. I've got a few Philips Hue pillar going there. Um, when it comes to the raised beds, nothing much has happened apart from the light cables are all kind of ready and waiting now in position, which is fantastic. So we're having lots of different lights put in to kind of light the way down here. These are probably going to be lined this week. Lined, filled with rocks, filled with stones and then filled with soil. These trellises also just need to be embedded in, but look this this is one of the pieces of limestone that we're having put down it's going to be so bright imagine when these are all laid it is going to be so bright and beautiful out here in fact on that note i've actually had to buy a lot more stone throughout here i've had to buy another 90 square meters actually we have decided we were going to go with our old sandstone we're going to put that back the old sandstone in fact let me tell you about this inside. so what i did was i ordered from sapietra sapietra is a really fantastic i mean they specialize in tiles patios exterior and interior like if you're looking for something beautiful in stone or tiling have a look at sapietra and i spotted these limestone tiles months back on their website and decided to go with those and the idea was that we were going to have half of the garden in the brand new limestone tumbled etched finished cobbles they're called naranjo i'll leave a link down below to the ones we were gonna with we've got i ordered 50 square meters then we started measuring up and i realized actually i was short by a good amount probably a good 30 square meters so i went back and ordered more ordered them had them delivered last week then when we had them delivered us and our builders we went outside and we put the new limestone beautiful washed brand new cobbles next to our old sandstone patio flags and we found the most clean sandstone flag we could put them side by side and honestly they just it just looked so old and decrepit and used and worn Honestly, this whole time I've been wanting to reuse those sandstone paving stones, mainly due to the fact that they are bloody expensive, expensive material. But also, just for the sake of reusing them, I thought, let's reuse half and get brand new ones for another section. And honestly, when we all looked at them, all of us, well, especially the builders were like, these just aren't as nice, are they? And as soon as they said it, I was like, you know what, you're completely right, they're not they if anything it's just going to ruin the complete finish of the garden and after we're spending a fortune on this garden as any of you doing up your gardens will probably kind of get it's flipping expensive doing up a garden wow um 
put his little lammy in the washing machine. I think he's upset, but he's covered in mud and God knows what else. Um, <laughs> the end of the story is that I have now had to go back to Sapietra and locate another 90 square metres of the same limestone cobbles. But we had bought these small, beautiful, small cobbles. And I've maxed that out. I've bought them all. There's none left. There are none left. <laughs> However, Sapietra also sell the same tile, the same flagstone, but big, like big pieces. And, um, and so we've had to go for them because it's the same material, just bigger. But actually when we were all chatting about it, we were like, this means we can create a really gorgeous scattered layout. You can have like a big tile, a couple of small ones, big tile, a couple of small ones, and create a really sporadic, very French style of patio all over the entire outdoors so that no longer is it going to be half sandstone half limestone and I'm going to look down at my sandstone and be like why did I put that back down again instead it's going to be all the same all perfect beautiful freshly grouted so again it's cost a small fortune buying extra but I just think for the sake of the garden being absolutely 100% I thought, do you know what, it's just going to be worth it. So luckily, I've, a I've been able to get a delivery slot for Thursday. Honestly, these guys at Sapietra are so speedy. Every single time that I've ordered, they've been like, yep, yeah, almost like next day delivery. And there's a really nice guy that delivers everything on a, on a little pickup truck. And it like picks up the pallets and it drops them off when you need them. So our entire driveway is going to be filled. We'll have 170 square metres of patio stones <laughs> by that point. But it's going to look absolutely incredible i really think it is like the cream of the cotswold stone against this cream of the coping stones against this creamy warmth of the limestone when we get the bushes in and the white hydrangeas and the and the beautiful lavenders oh i can't i can't actually wait to see it so that's the update guys, that is what is happening, that's where we're up to. Genuinely, I wish I'd started writing down how much we've spent on this garden because it would probably blow my mind right now. So maybe it's probably a good thing that I haven't, but I'm just hoping that overall it adds obviously value onto our house and it really adds an incredible feature to the whole house. So I think it'll be worth it. I'm really, really excited about it. Oh, also, if I wasn't already buying enough for the house, I've also bought another, these are the lights I was telling you about, I've bought another six of them, because we realised we need a few more, these are what I'm talking about, they're like spotlights, one of 16,000 different hues, Philip hues of colour, so this is what we've got. Yeah, and it all links up to your phone and Wi-Fi, if you've never tried it before, it all links up to your phone and Wi-Fi, and then if you have them all over your house, you can be like, put the bathroom on at, like, in like a yellow light or put the outside on in pink for example it's really really quite cool so i've bought loads more of them i've also bought loads more led floor lights so now we're gonna have 13 of the phillips hues around the perimeter of the garden we've got six of the phillips pillars that are gonna give out light 360 and i've got about 25 floor LED lights that are going to sink into the tiles and up light. And I also have some outdoor lights from Philips Hughes as well. The outdoor lanterns that stick on the wall. So I think we're going to be good. For oh no, I also have, I also have festoon lighting. Festoons, I've had them in the garage now for about three months. Finally, it's around the time I can put them up. But festoon lights that are going to drape from the orangery over to the edge of the gates, the fences and create a really lovely little um, area here where we're going to eat. Talking of eating, won't be getting my dining table to eat outside until October. October! Ah, the, the Brexit Covid nightmare continues with manufacture and um, no table to sit outside until October. And I would have cancelled the order but this is literally my dream table from Neptune. I have, honestly, I have searched high and low for the same table, cheaper and from somewhere else and I cannot find it, so <sighs> I'm just going to have to stick with it guys and wait until October to sit outside and eat dinner with people. <laughs> anyway, that's my update, or else I'm going to miss going on now. I'm going to go probably get myself a bath. I'll go play with Bo, I think he wants to play with someone. But I'll see you in the morning. Hi guys! I am packing for our first holiday 
at, like actual holiday since our trip to the Maldives in February 2020 which was for Alex's 30th birthday so this is the first time that I am um, I'm packing since then I thought I would uh, bring you along for my little packing moment because this is kind of the things that I've pulled out so far as to things that I want to wear we're going to Cornwall we're going to Newquay <laughs> I just have the best memories of Cornwall we went nearly every year as a child me and my brother went with my parents up until maybe around the time that they divorced so 11 I would have been 11 and then I went again after that with my dad on his own and then I went with my college friends um, and then I went for my hen do so it's probably a good 10 times or so that I've been to Newquay and I also went with my grandparents we went um for if, if you guys remember back it must have been like 1999 98 when it was the total eclipse of the sun we were in new key stood out on the cliffs looking up as the sun went behind when the moon came in front of the sun and it was it was just the most like i have the most vivid memories of being there with my my nana and my granddad who obviously unfortunately i no longer have now so just the best memories best memories ever anyway we're going back as a family my brother his girlfriend Chantel and um, my mum and my stepdad and then me and Alex and Bo so seven of us are going to Newquay <laughs> I'm genuinely just so excited about this oh a bag oh yes okay great yeah just just seen just seen my Lueve bag don't want to forget that I'm gonna take this too actually my um this beautiful little Christine Dior vanity. I'll take that, I think, to put on my makeup bit, I think. That'll be great, yeah. So I just thought I'd show you a few things while I'm packing, because I've got some new bits. So I'll go quite quick through this, just so you don't get a bit, like, boring. Oh, I've got some goodies in there that I can't show you, actually. <laughs> Those are top secret goodies in there. Oh my gosh, these are terrible. <laughs> I found these. I got these on the Bora Bora trip with Nars, and I've kept them ever since. They are brilliant like surf shoes or going in the water. I'm really scared of those stickleback fish and there's quite a lot in Newquay. Um, you always see someone getting stung by a stickleback fish on the beaches in Newquay. So I don't want that to be me. I've got this beautiful Tory Birch towel, pink and white Tory Birch towel. So this is gonna be my beach towel. That is gorgeous book i'm gonna pack this stephen bartlett's happy sexy millionaire he very kindly sent this to me a while back and as you guys know i'm really not one for reading i used to be not so much anymore i just don't find the time or the patience for it anymore unfortunately the most i love to read is other people's blogs um but i'm gonna spend a lot of time trying to relax my mind i'm gonna take a book so i'm gonna try reading this i'm really actually really enjoying stephen's podcasts now he's got his own podcast called The Diary of the CEO. They're really, really good if you've not seen them already. Please. Um, one the other week with Mary Portis was just such a fantastic, fantastic one. I can't just pack bikinis and gorgeous little linen beach shorts because the chances of us having perfect weather all week are going to be so slim. And I know I'm going to be so jealous. I've got so many friends right now who are in Ibiza or Positano or Santorini <laughs> and I'm gonna be in Cornwall in the rain <laughs> but you know what it's all about the experiences and who you're with and making memories so I don't care where I am in the world as long as I'm with my family and we're having some downtime like that's the best thing for me it's just a shame the likelihood is we're not going to get the best weather but let's I'm just going to try and be optimistic because you never know you never know so I'm going to pack sorry that's what I was packing uh, the brand new Holland Cooper emerald green leather jacket absolutely stunning okay i'm going to take a, a gym kit because i intend to do some pilates uh, the pilates class at classes in the hotel most days just to try and keep up my fitness um obviously i've been doing the peloton every day potentially missing one or one a week usually at most so i don't want to kind of lose that so i'm going to keep that up so i've got my tory birch my beautiful tory birch lilac leggings and top set with me for that black linen trousers they can be casual but they can equally just be paired with an incredible pair of heels and look really chic or like a belt i was going to take my liars as well no there's no point in taking two pairs of black pants i'm going to take my lily lionel pants though i think my lily and lionel beige 
trousers because they go with the blazer. So I've got a bit of a suit moment there then. Do you know what? I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make notes of potential outfit mixes I can do. So I've got the black Jackie Moose linen trousers, white easy crop from Orson and Iris, cinnamon yellow bra top, Lily Lionel trousers that I'm gonna put, I need a steamer, that's one thing I need to take. Simple kind of ribbed vest. Equally, I'll take my Versace bralette because it's only small and it's so, so honestly, like I know any of you guys who obviously are like, oh, you know, it's like a 600, 700 pound bralette, but I think you've seen how many times I've worn this for different things and different photo shoots and whatnot. I wear it a lot, it just goes with everything and it just looks so fantastic. Pair of jeans, got a brand new gorgeous pair from Mother Denim, really lovely light wash jeans, I can turn up, turn them up at the end if I want to, but it's really simple, they will go with the black vest too. I've got a lovely little summer dress from Whistles, this is brand new, lovely knitted kind of ruching to the bodice here, into a really simple black dress. I'm gonna take my Gucci play suit because I haven't had any time to wear this for a long time. And that goes with the matching belt. Ooh, I've also got this little posse top. So this can also, I'm gonna put this with the shorts. Got the matching shorts for it. Got this full posse outfit. A little shorts, a little denim Mew Mews. Got this gorgeous, I'm a little bit in love with this, this blue linen shirt. I have this in a size medium by the way. I'll link it down below but it's such a fantastic like summer piece. Like just with like a bikini, with a bikini underneath. It looks amazing. Pink little cycling shorts which will go perfectly with a new beautiful white linen shirt here. So they'll go beautifully together. Perfect and walking around the seaside town dress. I am in love with these. These sage linen trousers are just phenomenal. Yeah, I've got loads of tops in there that will go with that. Yeah, I'm not going to take a white tee, I don't think. I'm going to say I'm going to take my a little white Jackie Mousse shirt. I'm going to take a Zimmerman. And the Zimmerman I think I'm going to take is my gorgeous summer dress because it's just very easy to wear and just makes me feel wonderful. So that's more of an even thing. That's the thing you've got to patch wise. You've got like day and night because we're doing things day and night. So 11 potential outfits. Beach kind of wear. I've got this gorgeous pair of like knitted shorts and the matching top that I can just throw over a bikini on the beach for when it's windy or a bit chillier. And I want to be in something small, but still a bit warm. I think that'll be a really good choice. The same with, I'm going to take this lovely um, Tommy Hilfiger jumper, again, just for on the beach. For if it gets a bit chilly. And then for jacket, I'm going to take this new gorgeous crop blazer because it genuinely goes with everything. I've not stopped reaching for this. It's probably one of the best things I've bought all year. I'll take one skirt. I'll take this beautiful little linen skirt as well, just in case I need a skirt. A beautiful Hong Cooper dress. It's a really good one for evenings and just for walking around and feeling amazing in, so I think I'll take it. Um, also guys, if you haven't managed to get your hands on this, we've still got a little bit of stock left, like I said, um, and it would just be amazing if any of you guys still wanted to pick one up. It's literally like the perfect time. So yeah, I'll link down below if you didn't manage to get one, but honestly, it's such an amazing dress. I realise the past few weeks it's been so hot, so no one's probably been thinking about wearing wool, but genuinely, I can't recommend, and I know it's part of my collection, but I can't recommend this dress more as something just to have in your wardrobe for every occasion. Genuinely, I've worn it so much. Mm, I think I might take this as my last like dress option, something really slinky. Yeah, I think I will. I'll take this gorgeous little self-portrait dress as like an evening out option. I realise I'm going really overboard here, but I've not been away for so long. Taking some belts. I'm going to take my uh, Bottega black belt, my Fendi nude belt, this gorgeous little wrap rope belt. Get a little pouch for those. 
These are so handy. <laughs> so handy. Oh, swimwear. Okay, swimwear that I'm taking. I'm taking this beautiful Tory Birch black and white. Do you know what? Let's start another pouch. Tory Birch black and white. That's a full cosy. Um, I'm taking the triangle swimwear that I showed you the week, the full like neon pink number. The new triangle set I've got in this beautiful um, like flumps pink and blue. I showed you this the other week in the vlog if you've not seen it, but it's just a perfect triangle shape. Um, and I'm also going to take this gorgeous little bandeau bikini style from Topaz Swim, which is just absolutely gorgeous and the quality is unbelievable and it's super high waisted, sexy high waisted. So I'm taking those four. I don't think I'll need more. This is an adorable matching scrunchie that goes with the bikini. So I'm going to take that to go with it. I'm going to take this gorgeous in their scarf. I got this from Luxury Promise. How beautiful is this scarf? Oh wait, wrong way around. <laughs> Stunning. So I'm going to try and do something with that in my hair perhaps. But guys, I've just realised I haven't shown you a few things that I got this week, um, which were late birthday presents for me. Completely unexpected, absolutely unbelievable. But one of them especially in this big bulgur box is something I want to take with me on my trip and I was just thinking, where is that? And I realized I'd not unboxed it. So I thought I'd just quickly unbox this on camera. But like I said, this is an amazing um, birthday treat from my Bulgari team. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I've mentioned to you guys, but I have signed with Bulgari once again as an ambassador. So my second year as one of their ambassadors. So it's uh, <laughs> to be named as an ambassador for such an enormous luxury Italian brand is it's a huge deal. It's not just a small thing that, you know, everyone's an ambassador or anything like that. I am their only uh, UK accessories ambassador. I'm the first UK accessories ambassador. And obviously the amount of people who have to sign off <laughs> the fact that I'm an ambassador, you know, it goes all the way up the chain to ensure that everyone is happy with me representing their brand. So this isn't something that I take lightly. This is an enormous deal for us as well, for all of you guys who have supported me. The fact that they've asked me to be an ambassador again for another year is truly something else and something I definitely don't take for granted, it's unbelievable. So they, they do send me some absolutely wonderful, wonderful things. Last year they sent me a gorgeous diamond bracelet. So this is a massive gift. I've already shown you this actually, but the one I showed you was a press product for the sake of me getting some content. And I loved it so much, and the team knew that, that they have sent me, oh my gosh, my own Bulgari tote bag. These are their brand new shape for the season, the tote bag style. I mean, the quality was unbelievable. The textured leather, the big bulgur across here, and it's in this like chain pattern. And then inside, it has this closure, so it keeps it all quite safe and pulled together. A little popper closure. Comes with a little rain jacket. A little wallet inside there as well okay brilliant it's got a big pocket in here obviously the large compartment in the center large section that feels to me like the kind of thing you'd be able to put your laptop in and then of course oh there it is of course it comes with the overarm strap too and what I really love about this oh my gosh oh look how it personalized Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Hope you enjoy a new Bulgari tote. I'm really proud to have you as part of our Bulgari family. Oh gosh. Honestly, what an enormous treat. So this is coming with me on the trip. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much to the Bulgari team. This is unbelievable. Here we go. And I have it as a crossbody if I want it to be. I love that customization. That is so fab. Thank you so much to the Bulgari team. Um, I think I'm going to take my little Lueve as well, potentially as more of the beach bag. This will be more for the days when we're not on the beach. And then I'm also taking this absolute beauty with me. So this bag is actually launching on the 1st of August. So when will you see this? You will be seeing this 
on the day it comes out. Per well, that's perfect timing. Promise I didn't, I didn't plan that. So this is the first bag that Bulgari have created with real sustainability in mind. I'll just read out some of the key points just so I don't miss anything. So leather comes from tanneries that operate in compliance with the Leather Working Group who centre their production methods on factors related to environmental performance. Components such as energy and water use, waste disposal and recycling are all carefully considered to produce a more sustainable means of production. Then all the stitching is made from recycled nylon threads. A lead-free metal is used to construct the snake head enclosure in the centre, which features on pendant degrade malachite inserts obtained from the same stone to avoid waste and create a chromatic scale of greens. Oh, gorgeous. The bags will be shipped in 100% bamboo fibre protective packaging and a cardboard box deriving from responsibly managed forests. Yeah, it's really fantastic. So it's either this bag or there's one a little bit bigger as well. It's kind of like a jumbo size of this, the two. And they're available at Selfridges. So this is like a Selfridges exclusive sustainable bag with Bulgari. So I'm bringing this along because not only is the colour just absolutely phenomenal, it's going to go perfectly with my green leather jacket. And in fact, every, every other outfit that I'll be wearing, it will go really, really well with. I just absolutely love the shape of the cabochon bags. Especially like with the with the maxi necklace chain here and the thicker strap and then the quilting and obviously this kind of like jumbo quilting right now is so huge. If you've been thinking of buying a Bulgari but you're really into sustainability and you really appreciate brands that try to be a lot more sustainable in their efforts, this I think could be the bag for you. It is an absolute winner. Then something else I am taking with me. This is a wonderful gift from Luxury Promise. So Luxury Promise is where I bought my my yellow Hermes Kelly 25 from a few weeks ago as you saw. Anyway, they found out it's my birthday and they had this. They wanted to send it to me as a little birthday gift. Guys, check this out. I didn't even know that Hermes did this. This is how special this is. An Hermes headband in jaune ombre to match my amber bag. How insane is that? It is so adorable. It is so flipping adorable. How cute is that? I mean, how cute is that with my little bun in? So I'm going to take this with me, put some really cute outfits together with this. It's absolutely adorable. So thank you so much, Luxury Promise. But it doesn't end there. They sent me another Hermes gift. Again, this is completely unexpected. It had just arrived and I got a message from Sabrina to say happy birthday and I hope that you love the little gifts we sent you. They have sent over this beautiful bag charm. Look how cute this is. So cute. I've seen this on so many people's different bags. I'd always been like, I really, really want one of these beautiful little horses. This is called the mini, mini rodeo. So cute! So I'm going to attach this onto my Kelly, I think. Thank you again to the Luxury Promise team. And for any of you guys that haven't looked at Luxury Promise, it's a luxury resale site and they have the most fantastic stock. And they also source bags, which is why I was able to have my yellow Kelly sauce for me, which is my dream. So yeah, so those are some belated birthday gifts. Oh, one last one, one last one to show you. And it's right over here. You might have noticed my little collection of books here. I am personally collecting these Azuline books, the Dior Azuline books. I now have three, thanks to my wonderful husband. So this was a little bit of a later present. It was en route and it was delayed, but he bought me the Mark Bowen Dior Azuline book. So the thing that I love about these books is that they go up and as you buy them all, they say Dior as they all lay out together. So it's, I don't collect anything else, technically. Okay, I know I get bags and shoes, but that's not technically collecting, that's just, oh, is it? I suppose it is collecting it, okay. I don't collect much, <laughs> but I really wanted these as a set. So yeah, Alex treated me to this a few days ago after I'd done my last video about what I got for my birthday. I just love these books. It just goes through each Dior designer's collections and what they added to the house and then with beautiful pieces. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous, like the best coffee table books. And I just intend to try and buy them all. In fact, Alex has bought me every single one of those. 
and I just would love to build up the whole collection and then one day put them sideways, it just reads Dior and have them as like a piece on a um, on a bookcase for anyone to read. So thank you to my wonderful husband. Yeah, I also got some wonderful presents from Holland Cooper as well, but I don't think I can show you those. I think they are fairly potentially secret right now, that's all. Um, but really, really exciting nonetheless. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with my packing because now at this point I just need to do shoes um, and then toiletries, really. Steamer, uh, my Dyson Corral I'll obviously be taking, I'll also take a supersonic with me, my perfumes, my sunglasses, my jewellery and then that's it I think. So, but I've gone on, I've gone on far too long here. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. I just wanted to make sure I had a vlog up this week while I was away. Um, just, just so that you guys didn't feel like I was just gone. Yeah, anyway, hope you've enjoyed it guys. I'll love you and leave you, but I'll see you in my next one. But if you've got nothing to watch after this, make sure you watch some of my latest vlogs. I know a lot of you obviously are out and about right now, on holidays, watching less vlogs. Um, but yeah, I've got lots of vlogs if you want to catch up. Why not? <laughs> anyway, love you. See you soon.